Are you interested in dealing in cocoa and coffee from Cameroon? Like, you know, exporting cocoa or coffee from Cameroon to another African country or Europe or America? Do you want to start buying and trading cocoa and coffee? Then this video is for you. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Rofo Chifu and I'm the CEO founder of HR and Systems Limited, a consultancy based company here in Douala, Cameroon. And we help a lot of business people get started on the African continent, okay? In this video, I will be talking about cocoa and coffee. Actually, I'm doing this video based on, you know, the request of, of one of my subscribers who requested that, hey, I want to know what it takes to export cocoa or coffee from Cameroon, okay? So as I usually say, if you're new here, drop me your comments, okay? Drop me your comments so that I know what you think, like which topics you want me to do next because I usually do videos based on the topics that you guys ask, right? So drop me that comment and make sure you subscribe to this channel and leave me thumbs up if you like this video, right? So I'll be talking about everything you need to know, the process you need to know about exporting cocoa. Remember, I will be talking about exporting, right? Not like growing cocoa. So if you want to like farm cocoa or coffee, that's another thing which I'll probably cover in another video, right? But in this video, I'll be talking about you just buying it from like local farmers, processing it and exporting. Like what you need to do before your cocoa or coffee is ready for exportation, right? So that's what I'll be talking about in these videos. Um, don't go anywhere. I'll be right back after the break. Hello guys, hello my business in Africa YouTube community. My name is Rufo Chifo. I always talk about the best business ideas to invest in Africa. And I have been having a lot of questions from investors like you asking me which African country should I invest in. I therefore decided to create this. If you're an investor and you want to invest in Africa, then you need this tool. Click on the links in the description box below and download your own copy. Welcome guys, welcome back to the Business in Africa YouTube channel. I hope you already subscribed, right? If you have not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? I usually give five seconds, just five seconds. It doesn't take more than five for you to subscribe. So let's count. One, did you subscribe? Two, have you clicked on the subscribe button? Three, smash that subscribe button right now. Four, just subscribe guys. Five, thank you so much. I'm sure you subscribed already, right? So let's go to the cocoa and coffee business in Cameroon. But before we go to, you know, the process use and the process and the steps that's required, let's have this small background about what happened last year in that sector. Cameroon exported 35,215 tons of coffee during the 2019-2020 session. Up 39.1% season over season. Out of all of these, 7,418 tons of Arabica coffee and 27,797 tons of Robusta coffee during the 2020-2019 session. This represents a 39.1% increase compared with the volume of coffee the country exported during the previous year. During the season under review, Belgium was a leading buyer accounting for 29% of Cameroon's exports of Robusta coffee and 14% of Arabica coffee and 3.8% of Arabica coffee. Germany imported 60% of Arabica coffee. Next came Portugal, 10% of Robusta coffee, Italy and the USA. So guys, there you have it. Those were like some small statistics about coffee business over the past few years, okay? So now let's go into the process, what you need to do before you export your coffee or cocoa from Cameroon. Point number one. Now on point number one, before you export any of this produce from Cameroon, you need to do what we call fumigation and phytosanitary inspection. Yes, we have a whole unit here in Cameroon where they come to your place and inspect what, you, what you've got right. Is it right for export? So there are some certain um, level of you know, inspection that has to be done to, uh, to they'll give you a certificate, a kind of uh, phytosanitary certificate that you're going to use to actually um, um, present at the, at the port before you actually export your product. Product, okay, so let's look at that and how that happens. The treatment of fumigation and phytosanitary inspection concerns cocoa, coffee, and of course logs. 
those who want to export cocoa or coffee in Cameroon must first of all start by treatment of the products by an authorized company must be up to date with various dues or fees charged by the National Cocoa and Coffee Board NCCB, the Cocoa and Coffee Interprofessional Advisory Board, international organizations like the International Coffee Organization and the International Cocoa Organization, must be delivered a certificate of origin. Fumigation of cocoa and coffee can take up to 72 hours. However, exporters can treat their cocoa and coffee in advance and stock them in warehouses or chain stores that have have been established for them at the Douala port. You can find a list of chain stores posted at the notice boards of this one-stop shop. All coffee and cocoa that have been stocked in the warehouse is immediately certified by the phytosanitary department. So that was the first step, right? It's it has to do with fumigation and phytosanitary um, certification. Okay, that's the first thing. So wherever you're buying your cocoa from, you need to go through this process. And remember, there is you know the certificate of origin that has to be issued. There is a certification, a certificate report of verification that has to be issued, and you need to pay all the dues okay so that was the first process now let's go to process number two hey but before we actually talk about this process number two guys remember i just released these two books right they are now on amazon kindle which i want you to go out there and download it okay it costs just 9.9 dollars .9 and if you want to invest in Africa, in Cameroon, in any other African country, then you really need it. These are tools, not books. The first one here is uh, the unique business idea for every African country, 54 of them. That tells you all the unique businesses that you can carry out in this country, okay? In these countries. And then we have um, the African Business Startup Brain Box, where you're going to find all the procedures of creating or registering your company. And you're going to also find estimated time, estimated cost, and everything that it needs to register your company in every african country guys the links are in the description box below just head to amazon kindle right now and download your own copy that said let's go to point number two on point number two we'll be talking about obtaining an export declaration the export declaration is issued by sgs upon presentation of the necessary documents of the products to be exported according to the type of product or merchandise to be exported sgs will issue a number of samples of export declarations for the exporter there are some restricted products. It should be noted that some products are restricted or prohibited for export. Such merchandise are allowed to be, to be exported only upon special authorization. This includes species that are near extinction as per the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of, wide, of Wild Fauna and Flora sites. Some of them include Apes, lemurs, pandas, the South American monkeys, belanus, rhinoceros, cheetahs, parrots, snakes, turtles, prey birds, cranes, tigers, leopards, elephants, etc. So as you can see guys, it is very very necessary to know the list of things that are not um, um, to be exported, okay? Of course, but we're talking about cocoa and coffee, I just mentioned that so that you understand that um, although you, co cocoa and coffee is like part of you know the products that can be exported from Cameroon, but there are some you know endangered species that you cannot export from Cameroon, guys. So that said, let's go to point number three. The third step here is direct debit using domiciliation of the export declaration. The exporter has to domicile the transaction at the bank for operations to be carried out. The documents needed to obtain the export declaration depends on the goods to be exported. Now, here are the documents that you need. The export declaration or stamped form 1 in 6 counterparts. Like you're supposed to make 6 different photocopies for your export declaration form, which is called the form 1, okay? The quotation in two copies, the receipts, an appropriate folder, the export declaration or stamped F1 in six counterparts, the sale agreement, the, the specification note, the quotation, the appropriate folder. With the above document, the bank will proceed with the procedures to direct debit using domiciliation. The exporter will then have to go to the exchange office in order to register the export domiciliation. The signed documents are then given back to the economic operator who is 
who in turn takes it to the domiciliation bank and then to the customs service. So guys, as you can see, each time you make this payment, you then take it back to the customs service and present it there, right? That's when, uh, when the bank will actually debit your account to the account of the port, autonomous the dweller or the ports of dweller, and then you will now have what you call your export declaration, which you now take to the, to the customs service for, you know, processing and onward forwarding of your product or your coffee or cocoa, right? So now the point number four, let's write. Payment of dues. Dues that are paid depends on the types of merchandise to be exported. The dues include port authority fee, which is calculated on the basis of the parking list. The fee is paid at the bank, which has been opened at the one-stop shop. A receipt is issued by the bank and the Douala Port Authority is immediately informed a transfer has been done to their accounts. NCCB or CICC fee in the case of cocoa and coffee is paid to the benefits of the National Cocoa and Coffee Board NCCB itself. The Cocoa and Coffee Interprofessional Advisory Board CCIC. The documents necessary for the calculation of these fees are Parking list, a check issued to NCCB and, I, and, and CICC, a manual count certificate. The exporter is entitled to a certificate showing the dues have been paid and also the issuance of a certificate of origin. From the above, you will see that the export procedure in Cameroon is not as complex as a clearing agent makes it to look like. So guys, that was the last stage, right? You need to have a permission or a clearance that you've made payments of all your dues to the NCCB and the CIC boards, right? These are different um, uh, regulatory, regulatory authorities that actually regulate the export of coffee or cocoa. So this payment is done at the bank and you have this at the one-stop shop. It's called one-stop shop. <laughs> it's called Guiche Unique here in Douala. So you just do all the payments there and the port is automatically notified so you can just simply export Support your product so there you have it guys those were like the four steps needed to export coffee or cocoa from Cameroon through the ports of Douala hope that video was resourceful and if it was just give me likes button just click on the like button okay click on the like button right now to let me know you enjoyed the video and also don't forget as i said drop me a comment to let me know which topics you want me to cover next right i always i always do videos based on the topics that you request this video was a topic or was requested by a subscriber and i did this video so i can also always do a video for you as well just drop in the comment section let the whole community benefit from and don't forget don't go anywhere without clicking on the subscribe button guys what are you waiting for click on that subscribe button right now smash it right there so we cut we keep talking business on the african continent right thank you so much for watching my name is rufo chifu and I'll see you in my next video. Hey, don't go anywhere. There are just so many videos on this channel, right? Click right here. I mean, click on the suggested video. I mean, you're going to have my videos there. Click it and watch. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back in my next video. Bye-bye. I love Africa and I hope you do too.